Hello, my friends, and welcome to Undungeon with me, Notorious BLT. Uh, I know virtually nothing about this game other than it looks really cool, and uh, I believe it is published by Devolver, so... And I received a key for it, so I was like, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Um, but it looks really awesome. Let's see. Keeper of the Void Dimension, Bringer of Darkness. He is the in incarnation of the dimension itself, so his powers are immense and mysterious. Name, Void, Age Unknown, Origin, Void Dimension, Entity, Chthonic Darkness. So there are other characters. Okay. Um, I don't know what is going to happen. Like, it, uh, So, for real, like, I just... Laughing Machines? Okay. I, I literally picked... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Not, not Devolver. Tiny Build. Jesus Christ. Strange, isn't My apologies. It? From childhood, we have been told that the universe is endless. It was said that there are millions of worlds out there, and that none of them can be reached. They said that they were thousands of light years away from us. But what if this is not the whole truth? What if we live in a multiverse where a thin membrane separates worlds from each other? And this membrane is not as strong as it seems. Seven worlds, seven variations of Earth were instantly merged. Those few who survived called this cataclysm the Shift. Nodes modify basic characteristics and add chance effects, such as the chance of burning a target or infecting them. Let's wait. Void dimension void. Okay. Infecting with Paris. Ew. Uh, dealing damage. Dealing the target additional damage. The chance of receiving a shield that blocks all damage. The chance of summoning a creature while using the healing consumable, etc. Press any button to continue. Hold A to be reborn. Um. L to move. Okay. I am using L to move. Okay, so we can use this other stick to aim. Now what? All right, there's dead stuff. None of the other buttons appear to be working. Uh, the space is dark and silent. A voice resounds in your head, breaking this silence, each word like a supersonic cannon shot. I made you. I created you. What are you? The space is dark and silent. A voice resounds in your head, breaking this silence, each word like a supersonic cannon shot. Okay, so it says the same thing again. Uh... I am nothingness, just like you. They call us the Void. You and I are one, but you have a purpose. You look like two big eyeballs, dude. You can leave this place and meet with them, the envoys of other dimensions, in the center of creation. Who are these envoys? What is this place? What are dimensions? What is the center of creation? Oh, how did you create me? I made you from parts, from anything that reaches me from their worlds. Follow the thread. It will bring you to the root of creation, to the city of all dimensions, the city of Arkaban. Arkaban? <laughs> Collect the seals of the six heralds and bring them back here. They have many realms. We have essence. They want our essence because we have so much. Let them give us their realm. Let them give us their realm so we can have many realms as well. Go and collect the seals of six dimensions. I want to ask you a question. Before that, you have to ask yourself, who are you? I am death, I am destruction, I am a truth seeker, I am a creation of my maker. We will learn the nature of reality together. I am a truth seeker. I feel like that explorer brain. Did I get things for other questions that I answered? I didn't see that. You have their mind, but you and I are one. I made you similar to them, so you don't know everything that I know. I will tell you with their words. What is essence? Why don't we have any realms? Why do we need six seals? They bound their realms to the root of creation. They sealed their realms off from other dimensions. They call all other dimensions mirrors, false dimensions. All essence that is not ours belongs to them, but they want more. They want to create more realms that will give birth to more living beings, so new sentients can receive vessels in their, in their dimensions and go on to create more realms. 
In the dimensions of the six gods, as they call themselves, the six heralds hold their seals, seals that open the path to the realms of the six dimensions. Once we get those seals, we will be able to touch their realms. I want to touch them. I uh, to be to be more yeah, to be more than an observer, to participate, not just exist, but live. You already have this gift, so go forth and use it. Collect the seals and bring them to me. Free us. You know what? That's fine. I, let's let, let's do this, man. I. It appears I cannot. Um. Also, hang on. Do V sync? Yes, please. Because <laughs> I'm noticing uh, we are getting a little bit of screen tearing, and I do not want that. So, V sync it is. Can I go this way? No. How do we leave? How how do? Oh. Okay. I can't. I can't move anymore. There is a body. Can I interact with you? Nope. God, that's disgusting. What's that? Obligation. Let's see. Communicator. Press down to open the communicator. This is an incredibly important device that lets you communicate across dimensions. You'll get messages containing information about the world around you and requests from uh, beings you meet on your travels. Okay. So, wait, what? New order detected. Incoming transmission. Wait, what? New order detected. Error, error. Access granted. Data recovery in progress. Restore telepathic contacts. Transmission incoming. Wait, what's the rest of this? Obtain new data, communicator. Wait, it said watch video. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Um, sure. Establish connection accepted. Error, no access to info screen, or info ocean. Recovering most recent history. Uh, clear. I really don't think this is a good idea. Think about it. You should say no. I admit it, you're jealous. You are not worthy. You will regret that you said that. We'll take, uh, we'll, we'll talk once I return in my new form. Let's not put it off any longer. I'm behind your back. Turn around and face your death. End of record. Uh, attacks. You might run into enemies. To dispatch them, press X to attack. Okay. Kill one enemy, find out who Clear was, and who killed them. Right bumper. What's that? I don't understand. Oh, it's like a shield, I guess. Do we have a, oh, we, we have a stamina bar. What's, what's B? Oh, what's this? Clear ribs. Press right bumper to activate shield that protects you from any single source of damage. Okay. Use the pier to reach Archivon. Find out who Clear was and who killed him. Obligation: collect the her the herald's seals. So we can wait. Can we mark these? Why is this one? Oh, because why? Why is the thing to? Yeah. Okay. What is the right trigger? Nothing. Energy. Wait a minute. Heralds can use the enhanced skills of their items, depending on the item, uh, on the type of item. Press the button corresponding to it. After the indicator appears and fills up over the character, release it. Each item has its own enhanced skills. These can be attacking abilities, defensive abilities, or temporary enhancements. Obtain new data. Enter ah! Why did I just take damage? Wait. What? Hang on, but we just... What about... The, hang on, but I thought the clear rib said red bumper, right? Yeah. So wait, hang on, what is this? Use enhanced skills of their... Okay, if depending on the item type, press the button corresponding to it. If the indicator appears and fills up over the... After, oh, after the indicator appears uh, and fills up over the character, release it. Each item has its own enhanced skill. Okay. So it's like... Ah! So it, that that's why I took more damage. Level 1. So we have a oh we do have a dodge. Nope. Is it okay? But what's what's the what's the ten right there? I have so many questions, dude. We got weird mandibles and shit. The fuck. Well, 
What the hell is that called when you do that with your fingers? With like a... A string? Notes can be acquired from the same sources as runes, but unlike runes, their value is fixed and depends on some stuff that I couldn't read before the time was up. There is mass there, I guess? Uh, hello. Viticus. Harold? My greetings. I am Viticus. By sheer coincidence, I became the guardian of this hub and am obliged to tell you the fate of the universe hangs in the balance. I apologize. Where are my manners? You probably want to have a look around. Oh my god, I love that he's got the little, like, uwu squee face. Uh, you probably want to have a look around and get uh, acclimated first. I have waited a very long time for this meeting, and I can wait a, a while longer. Come find me when you are ready to discuss business. Okay. Explore the hub. Use the pier to reach Arkaban. We're probably going to end up calling it, like, Azkaban or something. What the hell is this? A device in the center of this table shows the current state of the planes of reality. Okay. Are those limbs sticking out of these machines? Uh, dimensional pier, like this one. Uh, okay, but I mean, alright, sure. Creature's flesh blends with the stones around the pier. It seems alive, but unconscious. Gross. The device resembles a locked door. Did you get a good look around? Yes, what happened to Archibon? Archibon once stood on this very spot. Well, more precisely, the cosmically massive core of creation stood on this spot, and the six districts of Archibon surrounded it. When you were on your way to the Council of Heralds, there were few who knew of this, but it seems one of them did not want you to make it there. There was a coup in Archibon, and someone used Marduk's personal weapon. I'm not thinking at any... I'm not hinting at anything. Marduk's personal weapon. I'm, well, I'm, not hint, I'm not hinting at anything. Marduk's personal weapon. To, sur, uh, to sever your thread from the core of creation. What? Uh, plunging the void dimension into the abyss and spilling its essence into the center of, uh, of creation directly into Archibon. Okay. Th this is all very confusing. Ask Vitigas what happened to Archibon. Uh... Only it just so happened that your core is here, and the core of creation fell into the abyss along with your dimension. And Archibon fell too, of course, and everything else. Everything is sliding into the abyss. Through this hub, uh, Dharma, through this hub Dharma created, slowly, gradually, like through the eye of a needle. So what happened to the other worlds and dimensions? The core of creation is falling into the abyss and dragging every layer of the universe along with it. We cannot stop it. The core has already passed the event horizon, but we can temporarily raise it from the abyss and gather mass for, uh, from a few divine cores. This should be enough for us to create a new reality. What do you mean, we? <laughs> you, me, the Keeper? Uh, those few mortals who have not yet fallen into the, into the abyss along with the core of creation? No one knows how much time we have left. I see, go on. Go to the central pier. The keeper has everything ready. The pier will take you to the Q dimension. Well, what is left of it after uh, its after its time in the abyss. It is a world of arid deserts, hot during the day and cold at night. Do not expect a warm welcome from the inhabitants. They know about as much about heralds as they do about waterfalls. Okay. What do I need to do in the Q dimension? Hmm. You must activate all seven gravitational piers in the Q dimension, which will transfer some mass to the hub and unlock a pathway to the Divine Palace. Then you will just have to convince the dimension's god to bequeath all his mass to the hub core. That is all. Bidicus makes a strange motion and laughs. What do you know about the Q dimension's god? One of the two original gods, the one that now calls himself Motor. <laughs> he, which, I, I, like, well, M-O-D-E-R is mother in Swedish, I think, and M-O-T-O-R is, like, you know, a mechanical thing that goes vroom vroom and makes things move, or, like, you know, it, it, it's a, I forget what the technical definition of a motor is, but it's, like, a, a device to make something uh, happen, I, I, like, you know, it, it, a motor, like, like, in your car, like an engine, um, he used to go by a different name. I heard legends from the ancient essences that long, long ago he was the god of thunder or lightning until he met Kshatra, uh, who taught him to play Aegon. That is all I currently know about him. Okay. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, my man? 
Um, travel to the Q dimension. Is that what it said? How the fuck do I... Wait a minute. How did, how did we actually end up seeing our... Uh, our whatchacallits? Like, where's our... I don't remember what our objective... Like, okay. Ah! You, you are not prepared. I was incredibly... It was incredibly difficult for me to raise your core from the abyss. It seems she is speaking in a dream. Viticus, that lazy blabbermouth, didn't explain it to you. This is not Archibon, Harold. Refresh your memory and your skills. You will need to prepare for battle. The Keeper points you to a door leading to another dimension. I can't do anything. I'm always ready for battle. Or I, I, oh, I can do it. No, begin training. Yeah, teleport. Runes dropped from opponents can be bought from merchants and can be found around, or just be found around. Each rune has two characteristics with random values. As you progress through the game, you will find more and more powerful runes. Basic training. If I were you, I wouldn't listen to what the Keeper thinks of me. She sleeps all the time, but still calls me lazy? What nonsense. The eyeball levitates up and down furiously. It's just that there's so much going on, and, uh, and I occasionally forget important things. Dude, I know what that's like. Right, let's get down to business. As you've already figured out, this is a training room. I currently have a combat simulation running in it. Vidix flo uh, flows closer to you. Between you and me, there are no other simulations. I haven't created them yet. We will be using this combat simulation to see what you can do. Got it. If you don't mind, I'll be recording your training. It could prove useful for when we train future heralds. Vidix squints. Well, even if you do mind, I'm still going to record it. That's my job, after all. I had to ask for appearances sake. All right, let's get started. Basic training. Okay. Use uh, X to perform a normal attack. Oh, you want me to attack this thing? Use B to dash. Pick up Nox. Oh, no! Jesus! What the fuck? Hey! God damn it. Nox. Healing. 40 per second. Duration, 15 seconds. Stacks up to three times. Activate powerful regeneration. The most common medicine is the, uh, in the wasteland is one based on enriched nitrogen. The brown substance in this glass ampule uh, evaporates quickly in the open air. Its vapors accelerate the recovery of damaged tissues. What the hell is all this other crap? Uh... Oh, no, hang on, what was that? Wait. Press, or use Y, then X to use the Nox twice. Oh, okay. Pick up Mechanical Claws. Mechanical Claws can perform a combo. Press X three times in quick succession to execute it. The last attack in the combo will deal the most damage, but be careful, the combo drains a lot of stamina. Okay, so like, wait, you want... Oh no, hold X to perform an empowered attack. So what's with the, what's this one then? Why is that different now? I don't get it. Every time uh, every item has a certain level of durability. When an item breaks, the game enters a tactical pause state where you can swap out your broken item. If you have a replacement, uh, press X B or right bumper to swap out the corresponding item. But I don't. Press right trigger to continue. Okay. What's this? Enhancer items. To use an enhancer, press Y, then X to break the enhancer. All enhancers temporarily improve various qualities of the Herald. The fuck? Pick up Mechanical Claws, pick up Nox, pick up uh, Sour Fangood. <laughs> Okay. Kill the enemy. 
Armored enemies. If you hit an enemy and see a blue shield, it means that uh, more than 40% of your attack was absorbed by the enemy's armor. It's better to use empowered attacks against armored enemies, since these attacks can pierce through armor and deal substantial damage. Okay. Enemy attack buff. Enemy damage is increased by 100% after an attack that successfully hits you. This is indicated by stars over their head. Stars are lost over time and turn into shields that block a single... T Wait, hang on a second. This is indicated by stars over their head. Stars are lost over time and turn into shields that block a single hit. Okay. There are items that can remove these buffs. Was, okay, hang on. Stars over their head. Stars are lost over time and turn into shields that can block a single hit. So let me... I just want to look at this here. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, we don't have any stam. My bad. Can you stop that? You're really annoying. Ow. Are you, like, fucking healing yourself or some shit? You're just using that shit over and over again, aren't you? You little bastard? No. Can I just fucking, like, murder you right now? Decreation. Killed targets by de targets killed by decreation or de decrea <laughs> wow decreation have the highest drop values of essence runes nodes and consumables. This type of death blocks the possibility of autopsy. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, we basically you drop a grenade on them. Okay. Primitive eye. Advanced gland. Well, I would say we can call our first joint project a success. By the way, what do you think of him, Harold? Who? The red-robed nomad, of course. He's the pinnacle of my creativity. I painstakingly created every single detail so he would closely resemble the most common of the Q Dimensions inhabitants you will encounter. Once I improve his voice module, the locals won't be able to tell he's not one of their own. Impressive, you did a good job. I have nothing to compare it to? <laughs> Yeah, I, like, literally, I, I have nothing to compare it to, my man. I don't know what these dots are. There's, like, dots above our stamina. I don't know what the hell that's all about. Also, this is, like... So, it, this game is about, uh, uh, like, obtaining mass, I guess? Okay, we left the training area, Pog. Um, now what? Travel to the Q Dimension. He's happy. Cool. I'm glad you're happy, buddy. I'm glad. So, now, wait a minute. Ah. <laughs> Understood. Wait, why is there... Hmm. So... We used up the claws. Like, we used the big attack on the claws. And... Now two, or rather, so we use the one on the right bumper, and now two dots are gone. We use the one on the claws, and then one of those dots. Okay, so it's probably to prevent you from spamming this stuff, right? You can use dimensional peers to fast travel around the world. Once a peer is activated, you can teleport to it at any time. Um, so this is where we are now. So I guess we're going to go to the alpha peer. I don't fully understand what's going on. Uh, and I think that's okay. Ah! 
Hello. Oh, ah, it's a scorpion. What the hell was that? Ask the huntsman where the core is. Local huntsman, uh, the pier doesn't have a core, and I can't activate it without one. I won't be able to get back to the hub while the pier is inoperative. Viticus sent me coordinates where I can find a local huntsman. I should see if he knows anything about the core. I wonder what uh, they hunt here. Okay. What? So there's a... Oh. Oh, interesting. So that must be the god of this area? I guess? Um, amplifiers. What is this? Oh, wait. So Nox is 40 healing per second, duration 15, stacking up three times. So what the hell is this? Oh no, that's this. Sour Fangood. Armor piercing plus three. Immunity from corrosive. No, I think I'll take the healing thanks. Um, so what the hell is this? Okay, so that's grenades, and then this is knives. Got it. Okay. What the hell is this? Materials? Quest item. Core level controls the maximum number of nodes you can add to your core. I don't know what the fuck that means, dog. <laughs> Boost incoming healing. A fast recovering resource needed for actions. Oh, right, they explain this. Okay, that's the energy thing. An essential resource for activating powerful abilities can be restored by some consumables and by killing enemies. Got it. Okay, I understand now. Um, determines the highest damage you can deal with a basic attack. Determines the lowest damage you'll deal with a basic attack. Ignores part of an enemy's armor, dealing more damage. Okay. Okay. Armor. Okay. Yep. Parasites. Increase to inf a chance to infect enemies with parasites that will increase damage dealt to them. Lowers merchant prices. Okay. Generates a shield that protects against one attack. The shield lasts for an unlimited time. Costs two energy. Creates a mine that explodes when it... T Wait, so what? So if I just tap right bumper, it creates a shield. Okay. Explorer Brain. Every two health ruins, plus 10% minimum damage. Autopsy success, 25%. What the... Like, what does this mean? So we're adding body parts? Dude, it's like, uh... uh what the fuck is the name of that game? Um, Velociraptor Cannibalism. <laughs> if you know what I'm, what I'm talking about, get you some Velociraptor Cannibalism. That game is hilarious. Okay, so there's a lot going on here, man. Um, what? Oops. No, this is not what I wanted. Wait, why do we have... Oh, God, it's a big scorpy. Hey, we got bits and pieces and shit. I don't understand, like, an item used in crafting can be sold to merchants. Okay. So, that's pretty neat. Okay, we also destroyed a, a thing here. Can I destroy you? No? What about you? Three? Can I, can I kill you? No? What at? Dried pulp. Hey, it's a scorpion. Creature. Thing. Ah! Dried pulp. So, like, there's a body over there. Can I do something with that water skin? It's a tumbleweed. You're not dropping anything, huh? I mean, it appears that... What is the 46? Okay, why is everything getting all wonkus? Okay, I want to get up. I think. What the hell's going on? Why am I... Are we teleporting somewhere? What's going on, dude? No, I don't want to do that. You crazy? I want to go here. No, I... What? 
Set destination. One day. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we were actually at the... Oh, right, Alpha Beer. That makes more sense. <laughs> hey, what's this? Yo. What's this thing? Fine Grun Lair? Uh, okay. So, that is actually, like, the technical name for a Whip Scorpion? <laughs> so, I'm a little, like... I'm not, I'm not gonna say I'm upset, okay? More like... Uh, I'm scared, okay? Yeah, give me your give me your pieces. This is actually quite interesting now that we've started playing it. Like, I, I I'm I'm guessing that there's going to be a lot more to, to come. But right now, I'm kind of like, this is sick. Like, I'm I'm. The game has like a crafty thing apparently, which I'm kind of I'm kind of pogged about. Can I, what what did I get from you? I don't know. What is that? Ah, there's a there's my groon. Or actually, it, it's actually pronounced a vin. I think it's like vinegaroon, because uh, whip scorpions can uh, expel this stuff that's kind of, that's like semi caustic and kind of vinegary. So it's like vinegar vinegaroon, you know. No, don't don't touch. In addition to use uh, to the usual items, fallen enemies will drop a grain of essence. The bigger and stronger the enemy is, the more essence will be dropped. Essence is used to enhance cores. Accumulation of essence in a core enhances its passive bonuses. Whatever the fuck any of that means. Wait, to upgrade? What? Uh, I don't... Core upgrade available. Select a slot to unlock. Maximum number of nodes you can add to your core. I don't know what any of this means. Okay, I'm going to assume that red is like attack stuff. Uh, blue is armor. And this is stamina. This gray is stamina. I am an attack lord, big time. So, there we go. What is this? Pick it up. Bomb. Press left trigger to use an explosive. If you hold left trigger, you can aim more accurately. Bombs and grenades are highly effective against grouped up enemies. Be careful, explosions can hurt you too. Okay. Did that one just... Did you just fucking... Wait, what is... Ow! You're elite! I don't like it! Shit. Well, I guess I gotta kill you now. Primitive heart, primitive brain. Hell yeah. <laughs> we stand a primitive brain in this place. Okay, my uh, stick is doing a little not so goodness. If you don't know, I've got the the controller. I've got the the stick is a little fucky. Oh shit. Let's go. What's that? What is that? Dexterity. I picked up a dexterity. No? <laughs> um, what did I get? No, 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 back. Social organs.
plus 8 to minimum damage, plus 20 to knife damage. What? How did... Runes. Okay. Sure. So, oh, okay, so th the leveling up system is slightly different, I suppose. Well, not slightly different, I mean, like, it's not, um... The fuck? Plant seeds, water skin. What's this? Health? Dexterity. Reaper Claws. Reaper Claws can perform a combo. Press X three times in quick succession to execute it. The last attack in the combo will deal the most damage. But be careful. A combo drains a lot of stamina. Okay. So we have a kind of claw. Um, okay, so these are all for... The gray things. Didn't we get... A, oh, no. We, the other thing we got was the claws, right? So, like... How do we tell how much durability... S type subtech. Wear 37. Oh, okay, I see. So right now we're at 37% wear. Plus 1% chance of inflicting parasites. Cost 2 energy deals damage in a large area gives a hunger chance for a short duration and increases maximum damage dealt. Uh, yeah, like, I'm, I'm a little uh, confused about some of this. Um, world karma. What the fuck does any of this mean? I am so very confused. Hey! Bust up them rocks, dude. Can I bust up your rocks? No? Why not? But I wanna. But I wanna. I guess we can't go that way? What does all this, uh, what does all this shit mean? Like, we got a chevron, and now we got a brain? Oh, maybe that's, uh, that's like a buff. Is my guess. Get wrecked. Whew. Also, by the way, this is not what a whip scorpion looks like. They, they look a little different than this. Yeah, I don't know what these chevrons mean, dude. Hey! He just waiting? What a jerk. Give me your bits. Thank you. Is there anything over here? Oh, what's this? Power. Okay, well. Um, wait, we're gaining health for stuff? Like, what? what, ha what is even happening right now? I cannot pretend that I understand most of what's happening, so I'm not gonna. What's that? A net. Entangle. It mobilizes up to three targets. A tightly packed hunting net opens to, uh, in the air and falls onto the target, entangling it. Okay, so that's in our left trigger. Cool. I got a trap. Gunpowder. Oh, that's a material. Okay. What is? Bronze coin. <laughs> okay, more more materials. You know, we gotta destroy all the things, because otherwise how are we gonna get all the materials, man? You know? I get the feeling that these, uh... These whip scorpions are... Hello. Colrin. You see two beings. The one closer to you seems to have be seems to have been in a fight. Their red robe is scorched and ser Excuse me. Okay, at least he can't hurt me. Um 
uh, scorched in several places, and their body is covered in bleeding wounds. The being gestures to you, then watches you, at, uh, watches you attentively, as though expecting you to attack. Copy the gesture. The being lets out its breath when it sees you gesture, and uh, the atmosphere becomes slightly warmer. Well met, Wanderer. It is rare to come across a friend in the wastes. The being studies you intently, from head to toe, as if seeing you for the first time. They point to different parts of your body in disbelief. When they get to the core, both beings let their hands drop and fall silent. The gods sent us a herald. How amazing. Yes, you are correct. I am a herald. Praise the gods. I am Colrin, the nomad, huntress in training. I know the traditions. Uh, Ian told me everything. Please accept this humble gift, Harold. The nomad hands you a small bundle and bows deeply. Thank you, accept the gift. We got a Pandura fruit. Uh, Harold, me and, or and Oron uh, got stuck here and can't make it past the red vine grooms. Our supplies and ammo are almost gone, and our companions. I'm worried that they might have gotten trapped too. Think you might be able to help us out? I'll show you the way. Lead them out. Uh, how are you holding out? Uh, how's the equipment? Reinforce the hunters. I'll show you the way out. Ah! Why? What does this do? Healing 500. Fast healing. Cool. How dare you? How dare you? Jesus Christ! I don't have any stam, dude. Okay, at least they're healing themselves, thank god. Throwing knives. Knives can be used to inflict damage uh, on distant targets. Ordinary knives are weak and barely enough to get rid of uh, shields, while more advanced knives can be powerful weapon. Okay. What's this? Jesus Christ. Uh, wait. Hang on. No. Yeah, don't kill my people, please. They're mine. You can't have them. One of them died! Shit! Huh. Hi, yai. Well, stay alive, buddy. Scorpions, please. Let's get these guys the hell out of here. Thank the gods we're out of danger now. The nomad turns to you, radiating gratitude. And it's all thanks to you, I'll remember this. I can make my way to the camp from here. Thank you, Harold. Your gratitude is enough for me. Leave. Your kindness will not be forgotten. Ian and I will always welcome you with open arms. You'll find Ian's camp here. The nomad points to a spot on the map. All of Mad Madzenta will know... All of Madzenta will know of you soon enough. Thank you, Harold. Karma. 
Virtually all actions will have consequences in the form of karma. Karma affects how characters treat you. The prices, and most importantly, Dimension's final fate. Okay. Small jar of essence. Karma points. Grant 25 essence. I forget what the fuck essence is. Uh, wasn't there... We saw something about karma before, didn't we? I thought we did. Karma plus two. Wasn't that... Wait, it was like an inventory thing somewhere, right? The karma? Was it not? Am I crazy? I don't know. Uh... <laughs> I'm, I'm a little confused. I'll be honest. Um... Sick. Alright, I'm out of here, dude. See ya. Global map. Let's go. Alright, y'all. Well, I think we're going to resume this uh, next time. I hope y'all did enjoy this episode, and if you did, you know what to do. That is going to be for me, NotoriousBLT. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch y'all next time. Bye-bye, folks.